today I'm doing a belly dress up video. Um, hopefully the lighting and everything isn't that bad. I'm doing on the, this on my bed because I don't really have a better place to do it at the moment. So hopefully everything's good. Um, when I redress Kira, she's been in this outfit for a while. So um, I thought I'd change her. Take off her jewelry. Um, and a lot of the stuff I, she's wearing is stuff that I have made. Um, mainly like the jewelry, the shirt is something I made. Um, these horns are by Tiffy BJD Crafts. Um, let's stick these over here by the... Meh. And the tights that she is wearing and that I might put on her. I haven't decided fully on an outfit yet, but the, the tights she's wearing and the tights I might put on her are um, from my friend Amber or Kaku Creations. Okay. But, uh, there's some fur in the sticky tack for her head. There we go. Almost done. <laughs> the funny thing is a lot of people don't go through the whole taking the doll apart thing. Um, which I can understand. Um, especially for dolls that are a little tighter. Or bigger, actually, even. Because sometimes, like even Alex is a pain in the butt to redress at times. Kind of get her arms all put together. But, um, I have a bunch of different stuff. I have all of her clothes over here because I'm, like I said, I'm not 100% sure exactly what I want to, uh, put her in yet. So. Oh, and, uh, if you guys have never seen her or heard me talk about her, um, for one, she's a Resin Soul Picks You. Um, she's like part dragon. Um, part, I guess, human type of doll. There we go. Put those to the side. Um, got black ones too. Let's see. Got fishnet ones. Uh, skirt. I don't want to put those on her. Um, okay, for a second I thought she was dirty, it's just a shadow. But, um, as far as her character, her character is, um, in my world, um, I guess they're called mutants, or witches, whatever you want to call them, but her main power is, like, morphing, like, so she can morph into different, um, creatures and stuff she really wanted to. Um, and one day she just got stuck <laughs> in Half Dragon. Um, I talk about it more in, uh, an actual story video, but, um, oh, let's see. Is this a poncho? It is. Don't really want those. Looking for a specific, well, actually this might work. Hmm. <clears throat> what was I talking about? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm kind of tired, but, um, dressing my dolls always makes me feel better, so I thought I'd, I don't know, record it. I thought it might be fun. Um, I don't think I want to go with black. I think I want to do something bright, so I think pink might be fun. I don't know about the top yet. Let's see, I got, that's the sweater I just took off, blue sweater, this shirt, 
Let's see. There is the rest of this just dresses. Oh, I forgot that I made her this. That might be a thing. Um. Oh yeah. So her, she just got kind of stuck in this. It's, it's basically what she felt comfortable being, in a way. Like she liked being half dragon, half human. I don't know. She's kind of like has a weird personality like that. Um, uh, again, these were made by Amber Kohaku Creations. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I need a cleaner. She's always wearing clothes, so I don't always realize, like, if she needs cleaning or not. A little mark on her leg. But she's pretty good. See, the hardest part about dressing her, though, is, like, she has these little toe pieces on her third leg piece so those always kind of sometimes make it difficult to put clothes on her there we go put this like this There we go. Looks good. Pull these down. I'll pull them down more whenever I put her feet on because her feet kind of extend her ankles um, whenever they're on. Um, she has had this shirt that was kind of like a poncho, but not. I know there's this one, but I thought I had another one that wasn't so. Um, by the way, this is just a, a flat piece of fabric. I just cut two circles in. Like one is for an arm, and then the rest is for her head and her sh like other arm to come through. You'll see as I'm putting it on that through, stick the arm through that hole, and then sh shabam. <laughs> Don't know if I like that. Hmm. Let's see what jackets I got. Maybe that will help. That is a hoodie that doesn't fit anymore. I don't know why I put it in there. Um, pink swirled vest. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Um, orange poncho. Oh, there's her jean jacket that I haven't used in a while. Might look good. What else do we have here? So poncho, another long cloak vest thing. I don't know. I think the problem is the shirt. We need to find a shirt that kind of goes a little bit better. So, oops, that goes over there. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think I'm gonna go with this shirt. Which is a Barbie shirt, by the way. So if you have US size dollar resin soles, um, they can kind of fit some of the Barbie stuff. And then we'll put her jacket back on. Or not back on, but on. Something at the shoulders, oddly. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Um, I used to have that, but these look really big on her. So I think I'm going to stick with those bright pink jeans because I think they work the best. Is there anything else I want to put on her? Okay, and this is my thing of jewelry. So I have gold that will probably... This is the gold belt she had on. So go with like a gold belt. Or we could have... Um, this is like the first belt I made for her. If I can find the ends. <laughs> it's a kind of... Okay, there we go. Can have this cool black belt, which I think I might go with the black one. I haven't put this on her very uh, in a while. Gosh, talking is like the hardest thing I got right now. <laughs> yeah, I think the black might look good with this, so I'll stick that at the top with gold back. Um, maybe a leather necklace. Good. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. And give her kind of like a, a teal cuff. And then I think I might give her a couple chain bracelets. I have a few different ones in here. There we go. Now I think I'll put this bracelet back on and I don't know why I always like having multiple bracelets on both hands um, I'm a jewelry person so I always um, I used to be in real life more so but um, obviously I'm not very much anymore okay that was a belt so gold bracelet Add on a necklace, another bracelet. Meh. That was another belt I've made. Um, I think that's good. I think she's pretty good in the jewelry department. So let's put her hands back on. My foot's falling asleep. Put her back in the middle. Um, let me zoom in just a smidge. Alrighty. Put her hands on. And um, to do all this, to take her hands on and off, um, I usually take a, um, what is this, a crochet hook. That's what it's called. Waha. Um, and I just grab the hook, hold it, and then put the hand on. Kind of like this. Now she's not so tight that this is dangerous, by the way. I'm not going to get a hook in my finger. She's not that tight. Um, but she is wired. So, I mean, that's a good thing. It's not going to affect the hooks or anything. But. Okay, well, I love that already. Alright. I don't know. This probably would have looked good. Um, but I really kind of wanted her to have a jacket, so I'm going to put all that back. All this, and we're going to stick it up there. I know you guys probably can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. Um, should I give her some fur cups? Let's see. I'm going to... got white we can stick on brown well actually kind of like the brown yeah I think we'll do brown okay. and it's like to be honest the funny thing is I do get a like a hippie vibe sometimes whenever I'm dressing her
And these were pieces I um, put together, like I sewn them myself. Um, they're not, it's not real fur, it's like these sh fur sheets you can get at uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I just sewn it, cut it and sewn it and stuff to my liking. Here we go. Then take the crochet hook, grab the hook. And just kind of even out the stocking or the leggings. Because these leggings weren't made with the idea that I was going to put cuffs on. So let me see if I can adjust them a little bit. Kind of. Oh, there we go. That looks better. Okay, now I'm gonna put her head back on. Normally, I would change her eyes, but I actually love where her eyes are at right now. Um... She's one of these doll, those dolls that I like changing her eyes up. Um, but lately I've been keeping it, because originally she was only supposed to have two different colored eyes. Um, but I would ever once in a while put in um, a couple different colors. Kind of stick like that. And then grab my crochet hook. There we go. Awesome. She's so beautiful. Okay. Grab the belt and we'll put the belt on. And her shirt does say good vibes. Her magnet on her tail is messing things up. I always hate lobster clasps because my hands are kind of not always cooperative. There we go. There we go. zoom out a little bit so she fits in frame. Okay, we're gonna put her head cap back on. There we go. Stick her wig back on and I... She did have a headband. Um, but I was gonna stick on her. I gotta find it. Um... I think for now I'm just going to leave the horns off. don't really feel like dealing with them at the moment. I think it's in here. Oh, where did it go? Is it in scarves? Yeah, I think it's in scarves. I put it... I organize my stuff by baggies, so... Oh yeah, here we go. Cute little headband. And there you go. Hopefully the lighting isn't too harsh, or maybe I can fix that in editing. But I am pretty happy with how she looks. She looks so cute. There we go. 
And who knows, I might change her eyes a little uh, later or something. I have some purple ones I just got that I might stick in her because that might kind of look really good with all the pink. Or I have pink ones too, so we'll see. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this thing. Um, I might do more. I don't know. I feel like this has been very, like, not good, but we'll see. Um, I was also, let me know if you guys like the idea of doing, like, a, um, like a restringing kit or, like, my must-haves for dealing with, um, fixing up dolls, maybe. Um, I don't know how to put it, but I have this kit that I created for myself. So if I get a new doll or if I'm working on a doll, I'll just grab the kit. It has, like, a bunch of different stuff I use in it. So if that's something you guys might like to see, let me know. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!